Sabano 500 offers advanced testing methods for medium voltage circuit breakers. It can make use of its internal power supply, timing meter, and micro ohm meter in order to perform a number of tests on circuit breakers. Test sequences will often start with a motor current test to assess the condition of the motor and springs. The software calculates the peak motor current in the charging time and provides a graphical representation of the motor current. Timing tests show the binary states for the open and close operations of the main and auxiliary contacts, as well as the coil currents. Sabano 500 also allows you to test more complex sequences in order to check the reclosing function of the breakers. In the following minimum pickup test, a pulse ramp is applied to the coils to identify the minimum voltage that the coils need in order to operate. Finally, a contact resistance measurement is performed on all three phases, showing the resistance in the low micro-ohm range. While the interrupting chambers of modern circuit breakers and medium voltage are often designed as vacuum circuit breakers, other designs also exist, such as oil-filled circuit breakers. Motion curves can also be recorded during the timing tests using digital motion transducers and the CB-TM3 connection modules. Motion tests show the mechanical movement of the operating mechanism during an operation, and they can be performed on all timing tests. The combination of time and motion measurements provides important additional information about the condition of the circuit breaker's moving parts. While most tests on circuit breakers are performed offline, most breakers and gas-insulated switchgear cannot be accessed directly. Online voltage-based timing measurement, or VTM, still enables users to get accurate timing results. The VTM method can be used for switchgear with a voltage detection system. This allows the user to perform non-invasive timing tests. The breaker is operated remotely, and the test device records the results when it gets an external trigger. Sabano 500 can also test undervoltage coils. It first supplies the undervoltage release and closes the breaker. Then the voltage is decreased until the undervoltage coil opens the breaker. After the test, we know the minimum voltage necessary for supplying the undervoltage release. In our case, the undervoltage release has tripped the breaker at 150 volts. If your breaker features an indirect current release, then you can also test it with Sabano 500. Similar to the minimum pickup test, the current is increased in steps until the breaker operates. The result is the minimum current necessary for operating the indirect current release. All of these tests allow a comprehensive condition assessment of all types of medium voltage circuit breakers to be performed with a single device. Contact your local Omicron representative for more information on the Sabano 500.